Welcome to Bustin' with the Boys. We have a great episode for you today. Uh, the boys, hey, we just fucked up. If you're if you're watching right now, it's we messed Tuesday. Up, man. It, at this moment in time, it is 1044 a.m. Central Time in the morning. And uh, we just got our asses ringed because we were not on the uh, Bracket Busters call with Barcelona Sports. And we, we, we fucked up. We did not. We did not have a Chevy move this morning. No, we, we did didn't. Not and, a Chevy move. This and morning. here's a problem, dude. As I woke up this morning, my kids were on spring break last week, so I kind of allowed myself to sleep and go to the gym a little bit later, let them stay up a little later, and then I was like, last night going to bed, I was like, time to get the routine back in check. Uh, we're yeah, up at the time we got to get in. Yeah, excited to start the week. I even saw your going to bed tweet and yeah. thought to myself, this is exactly what I needed. To get my week going. Yeah. Wake up in the morning. Go to the gym. Who's there? Comp nasty. Getting his getting his legs right. Getting that back right. I go. I take my kids to school. We're listening to bangers the whole way. I feel fantastic. I think this is going to be. I literally, as my kids were getting out of the car. Yeah. I yell at my kids every single time. Obnoxious dad move, but I love doing it. I roll down the window and I scream at them how much I love them. And I say, make this the best week of your entire lives. All your dreams need to come true this week. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to do the same. I get here. Sun's I, out. Sun's out. Oh, it's cold, but it's still Dave, sun's Dave, out. Dave, Dave, Dave's calling. Is he really? What's up, DP? Can I ask you something? Hold on. Tell him you're, tell him you're on the bus. You're on. You're on busing right now. How many fucking people work for you? It's five. Uh, seven. We five. Oh, five. Two, five, five, two five full-time employees. Well, I can go to cocksucker. Remind you, shitheads, when we're doing a major thing. I uh what the fuck do they do? I don't There's know. There's not one person that can be like, "Hey, heads up. We have a fucking multi-million dollar ad deal where everyone's on the call. Everyone got the message except you two. How is that fucking possible?" Yeah, I don't I I, I yeah, trust me. I I swear to god I wish I had an excuse for you, but three of them are back there listening right now. It's 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 a, a reflection of our bad leadership. But it's like over and over same shit over and over what's the same shit like we didn't read an email properly we didn't know like that fucking moron we went to dinner with he's like why did i you got to do hashtag dk partner like it's simple shit and then we just have the same conversation like we didn't look at it carefully we're not aware I, like how does that change i know uh yeah like i get an email from fucking austin every single day here's what you have dave so I don't fucking miss anything. How hard is that? Did you, when you two morons play football, did you just miss team meetings, practices, games? Because, like, I don't get it. No, no. And when I was late, so I, I, clearly, I, my asshole would be tight, just like it is right now. So, like, I don't, I don't, like, everybody's there. Like, people we don't talk to, like, Wallow and Gilly, they got it. Brianna, she got it. Fucking Biz was on the, how does everyone get it except you two? Yeah, I, 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 I I have no clue what to say. We we uh we fucked that one up. And, and I don't know how to do it because like we send the emails that you guys ask like well we just didn't read the email carefully. Like I it, it, and then I get exasperated because like I don't we just keep doing it so it's gonna happen fucking again. I don't like you have five full time people just for one of them to be like we need to know what we have to do every fucking day. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. Christ. I know. I uh, yeah. I uh. He fucking hung up. And he body bagged your ass. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> no, I'm you gotta stand. You gotta stand. Bro. You gotta take the bullets. I mean, that is. You did a great job of just saying sorry. Essentially, just apologizing because I mean, we did just fuck up yeah, the whole time. Nothing, there's nothing you can do. It's it's. It's just like when you're getting reamed by your position coach or D coordinator or head ball coach. You, you just gotta, gotta eat it. Especially if you know you like you fucked it up. And you shouldn't fuck something like that. I know. I know, dude. And and I legitimately... He's not wrong either. Yeah. yeah. That's the shitty part. Is Sometimes Dave will lose his shit, and it's like they, he's just not thinking clearly. Yeah. But he's right. Yeah. So I, I drop my kids off at school. I come <laughs> here. I get a coffee, and I get my two espresso Lucy's, and I put them on my lower lip. And I literally took a deep breath grabbing that coffee going, this is going to be a phenomenal day. Hit K Adams. Can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. Just like the song from Queen. Yeah, uh, yeah. K Adams at 10, run busting at, at 10 30. Bing, bang, boom. We got a couple of ads to do. 
one company, we won't say which company wanted a reshoot. We won't get into it, but we were going to do that too. We had a, we just had a good solid day plan. Yeah. My and, heart's racing right now. Yeah. And there's the thing that sucks about like, it's one thing to know something and just be like, I'll do it tomorrow. Cause there's a piece of you that's like, ah, I should have just done that thing. It's a whole other thing to think you're on the right trajectory and then be like, someone's like, Hey, by the way, you completely just missed this thing you were committed to. And that's where we're at now. Cause dude, we're idiots. We're just dumb. I know. Uh, like, I know we are, but I fucking hate saying that about myself. I know. And you're not that dumb. You're it, not that dumb. It, it doesn't change until the habits change. I got to get in a better habit of, and that's the thing is I read the Dave Porno emails. I usually do too. We were just talking before we shot about him yelling to someone he didn't name. I'm pretty sure it was Rico about sleeping on a stream. I read the whole email all the way through. If it says Dave Portnoy, you read the email. Now, let me check the email. And when he texted you two motherfuckers, not, and I just said, what's going on? He goes, you're, you're, you're not, I had no clue. I'm sitting there looking up different rules and different scoring systems for the March Madness. I'm looking at different apps on how we could you do a community one, like a public one. Maybe we should just do our private one on one of the apps. We can do a couple entries. Like I'm juggling like, like, okay, how can we, how can we spice this up and have some fun in the shop basically? And I see that text while Taylor's doing K Adams. I'm like, I just put what's going on thinking like what, what happened? Like I truly had no clue. <laughs> he goes, you two aren't on the fucking bracket busters. I think I figured out why we missed it. Ryan Bozer name, but Ryan. I'll tell you why we missed it. We didn't check the email. I know why I didn't. Bornazian. I know why I didn't see it. I Ryan not... Bornazian. That's that's the person who sent the email to us. And we just well, Dave didn't said, fucking Dave, read it. Dave and it says one... Bracket Buster 2024, Monday 3, Dave 18. sent one on the 14th. Because I was hopeful. I'm thinking to myself, I truly, nobody has personally told me anything about Bracket Busters. Like last year, I want to say MB told us. That, hey, I think Big Cat's going to select for you guys. You guys are entered in this pool. Here's how it works. Your team is, I forget who we had last year. But they rode to where we got to get a portion of the money. I think we split with somebody else. And this year, like, it hadn't even crossed my mind. And no one has said anything, which is, like, is not an excuse. Because yeah. then I saw so I go to my emails thinking, like, hoping that there was nothing about Bracket Busters. Because I'm thinking, I'm, I see Dave saying, I'm thinking, bro, I, I haven't heard anything about this. And um, I check the email and I see Dave, I, I type in bracket, bracket Buster in the search bar and I see three emails, one from Dave on March 14th and then a couple from that Ryan guy, kind of like one setting up the call and then the second one, here's the Zoom link. And I'm just thinking, God damn it, how did I not check the Dave one? Because the Ryan one, if it was just Ryan, like there's times where I just see it and I'm just assuming like our team is on those emails. So it's probably not even for me type of thing is what goes on through my mind. Yeah. But when I saw the Dave one, I'm like, okay, there's no way out of this. Now I have to hope for, and he already said, I have to hope for some of these people, like Wallow, Gilly, Brianna, Spitting Chicklets, like that they're not going to be on this call. They're going to miss. Yeah. and he, which, is, yeah. which is a horrible thing to do when you're on a team to hope somebody else also failed, so it takes off the brunt of you. But I was also only thinking that because he's just reaming us. So I'm, really? I'm thinking to myself, if somebody else has missed, they better be getting the same treatment because he's he's talking he's talking wild. Because everything he just said on that call, he said in text. Everything. Every, he repeated, he just basically just repeated himself. Yeah, we just... Only thing y'all can do is elevate. maybe hit the time change. Oh, sorry, we were our... It's said, Our back. It said 10 CT Sorry. on the email. It said 10 CT. Two weeks ago, spring forward happened. I thought, oh shit, I'm an hour. I don't know. We just hit the clocks. Uh, it's, it's a bad look. That's a, it's not a good look. It's not a, yeah, it's not good. It's I not, think the question is, representation the question is, and we need to have a quick think tank is how do we make this up to Dave Portnoy? I don't think there's making it up. I think what happens is I'm going to go in, I'm going into the fucking jungle on Thursday when I go to March Madness because Dave will be there. Thank and God I'm we're gonna, going to Vegas, I'm Jack. I'm going to have to relive this just in now in front of my teammates. <laughs> Which is so much worse. You're getting called in the office and getting reamed out one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. You like take it and you're like, God, thank God no one saw that. And you go to the next team meeting and he and they relives got the, They got the play up on the fucking screen. Yes. Yes. God. We just talked about this yesterday. It's like, bro, you that play had happened. Then we talked about it. Now this. I was texting. Uh, I was texting Big Cat, just asking him a couple questions surrounding like the tournament stuff, like what he like what he uses if he's with his boys and stuff like that. I sent that text to, to Dan at ten fifteen a.m. asking about an app, 
And then he ended up texting me just like five minutes ago. Are you texting me from the doghouse? <laughs> and I was like, well, I wasn't in that moment, but little did I know I was getting my nose shoved into a corner. Yeah, man. So Monday started out tough for the boys. Yeah, that's okay. Course correct. Course correct. We have to mincy this. Like we're getting fucked in the ass right now. We have to remain positive that, hey, it's going to come around. He's going to finish eventually every, and we're going to be yeah, all right. Yeah. Every, every few months or every month or so, there's something that we fuck up. We get back on track. Now we have to, we have to reset the calendar to zero. Days are fucked up. And now we have to ride this thing out. Now, there was a call last week that, I, that Will and I were both supposed to be on that I missed. Yeah. And I thought to myself, dude, thank God we went to dinner. And there was another thing that made us think, oh, thank God we went to dinner with Dave. Yeah. Even though that was just like a good bro hangout time, it's like you're kind of close to the situation. You're like, all right, we went to dinner. It was great, blah, blah, blah. I miss a Lucy thing. I shoot Dave. At, I try to call Dave. He was shooting. Gives me the FU button. I text him and say, hey, just want to be a very professional with me. Missed the call. I apologize. He said, thanks. I was shooting. I thought, all right, we're good. The thing that we were thankful about the dinner on was the spring tour stuff. There were a couple yeah. things. That yeah, 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 yeah. But man, dude. We just keep messing up. What's the solution? We got to we got to get better. I, I got yeah. Individually, I, I like I personally have to tighten my ship up and it's got it starts it starts it's got to trickle down. That I like that. That's good. We need to we need to consciously and intentionally read our emails sent. Yeah. Even if it's not by Dave. I gotta, that, that's the number one thing to do. The num so once we do that, we'll be we'll be fine. However, you and I need to have one person at this bus that is cc'd on every email we're cc'd on and we have to be told about it the problem is i feel like the majority is we're all cc'd on these emails were you guys cc'd on those emails yeah so i think there's a lack of communication of who is telling you guys because maybe some of us are sitting in our seats thinking oh yeah i'm sure so and so told them about this right but this Me is this is great this is, I'm glad this conversation's happening. Will right in now. his brain is thinking, how do I get fully right? Yeah. Right. That, that's how I feel like everybody. That's how I feel like everybody needs to be. Right. So how do I get fully right? How could I have done this? How could I have done that? Like to me, that's the only way. That's the only way it goes. Take care of your ship. Yeah. Now, I feel like we've all learned a lesson though, is goes for any of us. I think over communication is where we could have won here. Yep. Just communication. Now, it's a it's hundred percent on Will and I. Not on you guys at all, because now we're going, now we're going to level this thing up. And now we just know if we're, there's an email out there that we're supposed to happen, we all just got to tell each other. But also starts with us handling our business the way we should handle our business. Mm -hmm. We'll be better for this, man. We will be better for this. It doesn't feel like it right now. Because like you said, we're getting fucked in the ass. Yeah. And we just got to wait for the thrusting to stop. Calm down. We want to smell the cigarette being lit. And we're going to relax. Bring the team back to the sidelines. Yes. They came out and shoved it down our ass the first drive, the first series. That's how it was. Boys. Like Mitch and NCAA 14. We got to get the boys back to the sideline. We got to take a breath. Hey, calm down. They're not showing us anything we didn't know. Mm -hmm. it, should we have gotten those? Should we have made those plays? Absolutely. But hey, we got to be a, we have to have a goldfish memory, as Ted Lasso would say. Absolutely. And we, gotta memory. we have to bounce back. We have We've to bounce We've got back. to. But here's the problem. Not only do we have to bounce back, Dave has now decommitted to Beer Olympics, which is a huge L for us. Not only do we have to bounce back, we need to do something to get him back on Beer Olympics. It could go one of two ways. Dave's got to fuck up somehow, which I do not see happening. Or we have to go above and beyond. <laughs> we, it is, right? If Dave no, fucked up in a big see, way. I don't see oh, what can Dave do to fuck up. Exactly. You know I mean? But that would be a, a situation where if Dave fucked up bad, then we could go, hey, Dave, you fucked up, we fucked up, let's call it even, you're back on Beer Olympics. So he's got to fuck us. Oh, essentially, on accident, though. Okay, if it's intentional, it's like, okay, then it just hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that will not happen, as I'm saying. Yeah. We, you and I, need to think of a way to make this up to Dave to where Dave goes, not only do I forgive you, I'm back in on Beer Olympics. I doubt he says anything like that. Yeah, of course, but he'll say it in his Dave way. You're going to Vegas this weekend, right? Yeah. Maybe the winnings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Dave's got Dave's got money. Not for Dave, for the company. 
just teach them. Because it's what you what we costed them was a financial thing. It sounds like it's just a, it's a bad look all around. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we okay. costed them like a like a financial penalty. Like the you know they had to give money back or anything like that. But the way they sell it and with mm -hmm. us part of it, it's like one of those things where Dave comes in like when Mincy got ream for not going to the combine where uh he was into it with titus over him not showing up for a sponsored event mm -hmm. like us not showing up for a very a highly sponsored thing maybe we become brick watch representatives for a month that's a good idea should i get him back on and we try and negotiate <laughs> yeah call him back well wait, wait before you call him back though we could do a percentage of winnings from vegas brick watch salesman and what else? What's one more thing we can bring to the table? I think we ask him first. It's not like so we just want to offer up. You know yeah, what I mean? You're right. That's a great tactic for those of you listening to the show. We're offering the great... money. We're offering this. We're offering that. Yeah, you're right. Um, he could literally play hard. He could just be like, no. And then it makes us feel like we got to do even more. You're right. That's good. Call him. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea. But... Hello? Hey, Dave. Um, yeah. we're really trying to work through this, uh, fuck up. We're wondering if there's anything we can do to get out of the doghouse. Well, no. I mean, I, the thing already happened. You got a 16 seed, so your team has to think and you'll be eliminated quickly. <laughs> but I don't know why, in a serious note, that I'm cool, that why don't you just have one of your people just tell you every single day what you have to do? For, no. Like, commitment. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. You're you no, you're right about that. It's like one of those things to where it, since it's 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 already happened, it's kinda like I'm still we're we're still just beating ourselves up over fucking this up, but you're totally right. Yeah, because it's like I mean it keeps I don't know if any of them knew about it. Like I like I said, I get the thing Austin tells me. He's on everything I need to be aware of. And I get every morning, like, hey, you have this at this time and this at that time. And it's like one thing if there was miscommunication, but I mean, we don't, I, like, everybody's managed to get this message except you guys. Yeah. Because I, 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 Taylor and I were talking too. Like, when you're nailed, like, whenever you said that, I truly, like, at that moment in time, I'm like, well, I have literally have not heard one thing about it. But I went back to my email and I see I had one from you. And I know I check all of yours, so I had no. I I, I was like, well, I did, I did not see your email on the fourteenth. But uh, but yeah, we're just we're trying to figure out how we. I mean, how, it's just go, I get how they, we get going yeah. from here. Yeah, I mean, you guys are gonna get smoked on this thing because it was like a live thing, and Dan was running and calls it out. He like he calls everyone's name, and you guys are the only ones who are not there. So it, it, you guys look like assholes. But I mean, there's no way to go forward. It. it I mean, it is what it is. It's a continuous contest. It sucks because you guys had an, a fairly early pick. So you would have been like, you know, the way you're supposed to do it is create chatter as the thing fucking moved along and draws attention to it. But you guys are going to be bounced. It just sucks. It's like, it, it is what it is. It's like a huge, you know, it's like, a, I think it's Brad deal with Dave Busters or something. So, yeah, I don't know. You're breaking, you're breaking, you're, uh, I don't know if you're by, you're getting wind in your phone Wait, or something. Yeah. Is it what, like, none of the people who work for you knew about this? No, they, yeah, they did. Everybody they knew. did. Yeah, so that's crazy. Like, you ream them out? Like, I, like, what do they do? Like, I don't, if they knew, how are they not, like, telling you guys that? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like that, that's to me, well, like I'm yelling at you guys, but I would be yelling at like, I look, I got a million things fucking going on, a million emails, a million everything. Oh, that's again, I keep going. Austin lets me know here's every fucking morning. Here's what you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm with you on that, but also we saw your email too, or we didn't see your email. Like you sent me one. I did not open it up. I know this is not going well, but uh, like I could have easily seen that email and been ready for it as well but yes i 100 percent get what you're saying better communication all around yeah and and yeah i, I but the, as far as this this ship kind of sail i mean it is what it is we just did the fucking thing and uh it's not as i make it, it'll make a more interesting fucking video because i go ballistic when you guys aren't there but i mean that's 
Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah, 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 rightfully deserved. Uh, since you said you've calmed down for a second, is this just an insane request? And just let me know Probably. if this. It'll just let me know if this sounds absolutely fucking ridiculous. Probably, probably. Go ahead. Is there any? Is there any way we can get you back on board for beer Olympics? Yeah, no. I, are we still on buffing? Yeah. We're live. Not live, no. Oh. But we're we're no, shooting. I'm, I'm out right now. I mean, I I pub. That's the first thing I did when you guys were out. Like I pub right now as an out. Is there anything this is like? What can we do to get this back? I mean, we got a long, we got a lot of work to do. We got a, we got a lot of because I'm not even like. If you want to say that door is totally shut, maybe I'll say it's point zero 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 one. But I'm not going from getting fucked in the face by you guys on this to like, oh, I'll happily be a bust. I mean, the last fucking two calls I've had to do now, salespeople being like, "What are these fucking guys doing?" Yeah, understood. Understood. All right. Well, uh, did you ever miss a practice? Just uh, miss no, it. No. That I don't. I, I missed a meeting. I've missed a meeting, and it's it's a very similar feeling right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Right now, I say the door is like. I mean, that's the last thing on my mind. Like going to the fucking. I didn't want to go to beer Olympics anyway. So it's like this is just perfect. <laughs> All right. I'll. Uh... All right, all right. I'll, I'll I'll get in the lab. All right, bye. Hey, when your parents are mad at you, you don't wait till they've kind of calmed down to ask for something. What do you mean the beer Olympics? <laughs> that you should have just not said anything about that, and just be like, "All right, we'll make this up to you." Because now yeah, the good. parent it's, thinks it's, in their head, "That's good for for that's good for the content." <laughs> Now they're thinking in their head, the parent is thinking in their head, they were just trying to make things right so they could still get what they wanted. No, that's not what was happening. I think I think all things can be true. He can think that way. I mean, we do feel bad. The answer, if he said 100% done, we'd be fucked. The fact that he said 0.001% gives me a small glimmer of hope. But we just got to be on our shit. Yeah. So that's the first 23 minutes of this podcast. Will and Taylor having a tough day. <laughs> it's been...